outside safety, and I'm going to show you how to properly open and secure a swing door trailer. Now here we are in the dark, in the rain, and these are the environments that we work in. We're a 24-7 operation. And over the past few years, swing doors have become a part of our equipment. We don't always like them here at UPS, but we got to deal with them. This is actually a nice one. We know some of the bad ones. But some of the biggest things with the swing doors, these are heavy doors. They're big doors. We want to make sure we maintain control of them. So what you want to do, open your latch. Sometimes they have two handles, four handles. I've even seen three handles. But we're going to open it. Maintain two hands. Maintain control of this door. I put a little weight behind it. So when I open this, I'm going to use that as a shield uh, because I don't know what's behind it. I mean, if I brought it here and, I, and I'm the one who closed the doors, I know whether it's 100%, 20%, but I still don't know if someone's going to come out and hit me. But no matter what, this is my guard. I'm going to stay behind it so if something does fall out. And what I'm going to do is maintain control of the door. I'll show you on the other side where it's a little brighter. So when you get to this point, you want to look inside. If there's a bunch of stuff leaning on this door, I may back onto the primary, go unload, get it off the pressure of the door, then I'll pull forward, open this back up, put it back on the primary. So again, treat it the same way. Open two hands, use it as a shield. And I'm gonna maintain control of it because if I'm if I'm just relaxed with it, a gust of wind can come. This door is not gonna, you know, apologize when it decides to hit me. Maintain control all the way to the wall. Push it against the wall. Properly secure it. Uh, a lot of these are different. They're chains. I've seen latches actually pressing it. Uh, we have other latches that kind of hook into the hook into the side wall and they turn and lock. Um, but what we really want to do make sure it's secured. I don't want to just think it's latched, walk, and then here comes the door. One other thing you want to check or look out for, not check for, we want to look out for a lot of times, you know, guys are forced to use wire. Uh, you'll see um, like hub, uh, hub snakes we call them, but the straps that go in packages, basically like a rat's nest. Be careful of this stuff. I mean, that wire can easily puncture my skin, so I got my gloves on, but I don't want this caught in my arm. So pay attention to that. Make sure you're secured before you turn your back to that door. Uh, another little tip is when you're backing up with a, with a swing door, when you get back in a straight line or, or as you're doing your setup, make sure you're looking in both mirrors and you're able to see both doors are still open and secure. If one is missing and out of sight, it's a good chance that it's just, it, it came loose and when you back against the hub or in front of another trailer, you could rip it off. So we just wanna make sure before we're backing, you can see them both secured. And you know, always remember the goal, get out and look if you're not sure. Um, that's about all I have for the swing doors. Uh, be careful out there and thanks for watching.